a two week old girl is referred to your cardiology practice for a workup of a possible congenital heart defect. Physical examination is significant for weak femoral pulses as well as a broad chest with widely spread nipples and the presence of a cystic hygroma of the neck. Giving the child a webbed neck appearance. This is a very important buzzword for the case. Webbed neck appearance, cystic hygroma, widely spread nipples, broad chest, age is two week old girl and significant weak femoral pulses. All these considered to be the case of Turner syndrome. Cardiac catheterization confirms your suspicion that the child has a coactation of iota. And you refer the patient and her family to the cardiothoracic surgeon. Given the patient's other physical findings that you suspect that uh, this patient may have a genetic disorder that will cause her to experience primary amenorrhea later in life. Therefore, you refer the patient to a medical genetics clinic as well. And this is a case of Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome is mainly caused by a partial or complete monosomy of X chromosome. I'll repeat once again. Turner syndrome is caused by partial or complete monosomy of the X chromosome that is X O karyotype with no bar body. The characteristic features of the Turners like short stature with broad chest. Sometimes in the case they may not give you the widely spread nipples because it's also one of the important markers but in the case they have to give you that uh, broad chest, short stretcher, webbed neck appearance, coactation of iota, primary amenorrhea. All these are very, very important characteristic features of the turners. So I'll repeat once again for this short stature with the broad chest as well as widely spread nipples. And some patients may also present with a cystic hygroma of the neck, which mainly gives like a webbed neck appearance. And there will be lymphedema of the extremities. Coactation of iota as well as other congenital heart defects may be seen in the turners. And reproductive symptoms are evident with the primary amenorrhea and typically replacement of ovaries with the fibrous strands, we can say. So that's the reason because of the ovaries are replaced with the fibrous strands there won't be any ova, so no ova or follicles and an infantile genitalia as well as breasts. So this is what you need to know about the characteristic features of the turners. So what are the lab findings over here? We are calling here primary amenorrhea, replacement of ovaries with the fibrous strands, which means no ova or the follicle. So with this clinical presentation, we can say that it is evident with uh, decreased estrogen production, increased follicle stimulating hormone as well as luteinizing hormone levels. Lab finding is evident with uh, decreased estrogen production, increased follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone levels. So what are the complications of Turner's? Patients with a Turner syndrome are at a very high risk for diabetes mellitus, hypertension, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, as well as osteoporosis. So write down all the four important complications for the Turner's, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, Hashimoto's, and osteoporosis. So all these four are the important complications what we can see in the Turner's. Now, what is the treatment as well as prognosis? Because of the lab findings are evident with uh, decreased estrogen production, estrogen replacement is indicated and growth hormone can also be administrated because of uh, the patient is like uh, of short stature, mainly to treat short stature, growth hormone replacement therapy, as well as estrogen 
replacement can be indicated. And mainly for the turners, if we talk about the prognosis, the patients have a, a decreased life expectancy, typically not because of all these clinical manifestations, but majority are due to cardiovascular abnormalities. So mainly because of uh, cardiovascular abnormalities, the patients have a decreased life expectancy. So this is what is about the Turner syndrome. 